Ever wondered why hope stress is twice of longitudinal stress? Well, we'll see in this video. So for our example, we'll take a cylindrical container as this is the most common shape that is utilized for pressure containing components in the industry. So fluid inside the container apply a pressure P on the walls and as a result, stresses are developed inside material. Most applications specifically involving most common piping and pressure vessel codes such as ESME Section 8 Division 1 and B31.3 utilizes the assumption of thin cylinders, which implies that D by T, which is diameter upon thickness ratio greater than 20. Also, stresses are assumed to be nearly constant across the thickness. So for a cylinder with inside pressure P, three mutually perpendicular stresses are considered, namely, number one, hoop or circumferential stress. They are in the direction of a tangent on any point on a circumference. These stresses will try to open up the cylinder. And number two is longitudinal or axial stress. They act along the length of the cylinder and the effect is to elongate the cylinder. And third stress is radial stress that acts in the direction of radius. Its maximum value is equal to P on the inside wall of cylinder. Practically, radial stress can be ignored for thin cylinders as its magnitude is far less than the other two stresses. And by this assumption, it makes our case a two stress state. Now consider a cylinder with internal diameter di, wall thickness t and length l being acted upon by an internal pressure p. And under equilibrium condition, forces due to internal pressure is balanced by resisting forces developed inside material. As we can see here, the fluid force area is marked in green color and resisting forces are marked in red arrows. You can notice the directions of these forces are as we discussed earlier, that is for hoop stress case on the left side and along the length for longitudinal case on the right side. Finally, we'll put these in simple stress formula that is sigma equal to F over A and F equal to P into A. Here F or P implies that applied force or pressure due to fluid and is accompanied by their respective fluid cross section in the numerator of the equation. Whereas in the denominator, we have area which is resisting their respective force and pressure. So putting all in the equation, we'll get our final equation for both stresses that is sigma hoop equal to P into di over twice of thickness and sigma of longitudinal equal to P into di over four times of thickness. So it is proof for our case that sigma hoop is twice of sigma longitudinal. And quite interestingly, this hoop or circumferential stress acts on the longitudinal joint. So the most important weld joint which is usually given highest consideration in codes and standards is longitudinal joint due to the above stated fact. Hope you will like this video. Please subscribe my page to get the latest video.